Hey guys and welcome to the first Python video where I teach you everything you need to know about Python in a series of videos. So let's get started. The first thing you need for Python or any other programming language is an IDE. Now what is an IDE? An IDE stands for Integrated Developer Environment. So why do we need IDEs? An IDE usually comes packaged with a text editor where you type, edit your code, etc. and a compiler slash interpreter which converts your code to machine language and an executable file. Now some of the popular Python IDEs. I'm going to go through two of these, how to install. The first IDE is Anaconda. Now how do you install Anaconda? Go to your inner browser, Chrome, Firefox, etc. Uh, I'm going to use incognito window. So go to anaconda.com. Get started. Install Anaconda Individual Edition. Download. 64 bit because mine is Windows 10 64 bit. Wait for the download to finish. So, my download finished. I'm going to open it. Uh, you get the screen. Click next. I agree. Just me, it's better. Or if multiple people are using your computer. Next, browse your browse wherever you want the files to be installed. I already have it. So next. Uh, these aren't necessary. Install. I already installed it, so I'm gonna close it. So what's the great thing about Anaconda? It comes with multiple IDEs. One is a notebook, another is called Spider. So you open your start menu, search Anaconda. Anaconda Navigator, open. Now this is the Anaconda Navigator or menu. So Jupyter Notebook, is widely used and spider these two things are mostly used i want to launch spider and notebook So this is a spider environment. This on the left is where you write the code. The bottom right hand corner is called the console where you'll see the output of your code if there is any output. And the upper right is just used to drag files, select files, etc, etc. So, this is the code I wrote long back as my project. It doesn't utilize the console output, but this is where you run your code. It says run file, whatever file you had. And this was the output which I made. It was a GUI. Next, we go to Jupyter. Now Jupyter uses your internet browser. So here you go to new Python 3. This is a notebook which means you can execute your code line by line. It's like an interactive shell. So I write print hi uh, shift enter 
is how you run the code. You can see the output here, high uh, 3 plus 4, 4 plus 4. Eight. So you can see the output. Now you don't have to go to the Anaconda menu each time to launch these things. Uh, you go to your start menu, you can just search it. See it appears. Or you want Jupiter. See? So that's one ID. The next IDE that we're going to look at is called PyCharm. To download that, you go to jetbrains.com slash python. You click download. The community, because you have to pay for the other one. The download automatically starts. We wait for the download to finish. As we wait for it to finish, I'll show you another way. Uh, you can open command prompt. And that, if you type Python 3, because it's 3.8, the latest version, you open this interactive shell, and you can type anything. You get output in the next line. Suppose you type Python 3 and if this doesn't show up, you can go to your Microsoft Store. If you're on Windows 10, search Python 3.8. Click this. And install. It's already installed on mine. So I'm going to close this. Close command prompt. Download just finished. So I'm going to click open. Next, uh, change my installation location. Okay, desktop. Next. Uh, yes. Then wait for it to finish installing. So I finished installing PyCharm. Finish. I click it. I confirm, continue. Uh, don't send statistics. Skip remaining. Set defaults. New project, uh, location, okay. Create. It tells you the shortcuts right away, search everywhere, project view. Okay, don't show tips, close, it's loading, so you can use the terminal right now, uh, I don't know, print, hi, And hi. So you can use the terminal of PyCharm right now. We won't get into files so soon. Suppose you don't like using IDs and installing them and using them. You can always use online interpreters, but I don't recommend it. So two of the interpreters I suggest is Programmers.com slash Python dash programming slash online dash compiler. Hope 
correctly I typed it correctly and you can see it here the left side is our text editor where we type our code and the right side is our output console where you can see the output a quick run and you can see hello world another online compiler that you can use is online gdb.com slash online underscore python underscore compiler now Python uses an interpreter and not a compiler, so this is technically wrong. So you click run. The output console is at the bottom this time. I ran it. You can see the output here. It says hello world. Other OS users like Linux, Unix, Mac OS. I have Ubuntu here. So what you want to do is open terminal, which will be here. And terminal, you can click on it or press Control alt t which opens it up. For Mac, it's Command-Alt-T, so you type Python 3. And you can get into the interactive shell. Oh, so that's all for IDEs. I'll be linking more IDs and online interpreters and uh, more useful things in the description. If there's any doubt, leave a comment and thanks for watching.